Hey, it's Chris, Life Group Pastor here at the Vista Campus. And I just want to take a moment just to say, there's no better way to start your day than investing in your walk with Jesus. So way to go. Keep it up. Keep it going. Uh, today, we're going to talk about James chapter 1, verse 2. It's a familiar verse. It's a verse I'm sure you've heard many times. But I want us to reframe how we are thinking about this verse. So let's go there together. James chapter 1, verse 2. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And so we stop right there. There's a lot in this verse. And as a Christian in a broken world, I think we tend to take this verse and apply it in this way, that we are called to dump all our negativity, all of our negative emotions, uh, and replace it with positivity, that we are to walk through our trials and our sufferings with a smile on our face, and that the world's to see that, you know what, it doesn't matter what happens to me, I'm happy, and I'm good, and I can do this. And yet, I, I don't think that's what this verse is really saying, is it? When we take a moment and start to hone in on a couple of the phrases in this verse, I think we find that it actually pushes on another area in our life. Uh, let's take considerate. The verse starts out with considerate. Um, older translations are going to say count it. Uh, when you start to dive deeper into definitions and related words, you're going to see deem it or think it. Uh, and what we find is that I think the author is really pushing us to frame our, our suffering and our negativity and our pain and our trials in a way that is joyful. Not to dump our feelings. We can still go through life. We can still experience these hardships and feel sad and feel lost and feel depressed. Those emotions are real, but what this author is really pushing on is how are you framing it, though, as you go through it and after? And so really the challenge is, what are you telling yourself? What are you telling yourself about these experiences? Because the author says these experiences are actually going to help us in our faith. These experiences are going to allow us not to lack in anything, to be mature. Ultimately, that these experiences are going to draw us closer to Jesus and make us more Christ-like. So today, I just want to encourage you, if you're going through a tough time, if you're going through a trial, if you're suffering, you're in a tough place in life right now, know that no one is calling you to slap a smile on your face. But what we are challenging you and pushing you to do is to frame it differently, to see it as an opportunity to draw closer to Jesus, to to draw near to him in these situations so that when you get through that valley, you'll actually get, be at a point where you say, look at how Jesus showed up and count it as joy. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.